OpenAI has had a big impact on the world of AI. It all started with ChatGPT, a really smart chatbot that lots of people use. Then they made DAL-E, which can create pictures based on descriptions. Now, they've come out with Sora AI, a new tool for making videos that could be even better than what's out there already. But the latest big news is about GPT-4.0. This is a super powerful version of their old GPT models, and it's supposed to be twice as fast and way smarter than GPT-4. The O in GPT-4.0 stands for Omni, which means it's supposed to be good at lots of different things. This model has got everyone excited because it could change a whole bunch of industries. Basically, GPT-4.0 is like a really smart computer program that can understand what you're saying and write things that sound just like a human. It's got this fancy thing called a higher order attention mechanism, which helps it understand stuff even better. In this video, we're going to talk about all the cool stuff GPT-4.0 can do. First off, it's like a super duper tool for making all kinds of cool pictures and designs. Like, if you want to make a cartoon character, you can describe it, and GPT-40 will draw it for you. It's awesome for making comic strips too. You can also make posters with it. Just tell it what you want on the poster, and it'll make it look cool. Then there's making characters. You describe what you want them to look like, and GPT-40 brings them to life on the screen. It's like having your own animation studio. Typography is just a fancy word for making text look cool. GPT-40 can do that really easily, making words look fancy without much work. It's also good at changing designs, like making logos or even turning regular photos into funny cartoons. And if you're into fonts, you can make your own with GPT-40. Now, onto the 3D stuff. It can make 3D models like those cool video game characters or sculptures. And check this out, it can put logos on coasters. That's pretty neat for branding stuff. If you're into poetry, it can make words look all artsy, matching the mood of the poem. For the techie stuff, it's good at summarizing meetings and lectures, so you don't have to take as many notes. It can also show you how computer stuff works, like stacking cubes to explain things. And for artsy folks, it can blend words and pictures to make cool poems. Moreover, it has numerous model features. GPT-40 is now capable of using voice mode to talk to ChatGPT. Let's have a look. Hey, Chad, are you there? Hey, yeah, I'm here. What's up? Hey, let's do. Let's have some fun. Uh, I'd like you to be super sarcastic. Everything you say from now on is just gonna be dripping in sarcasm. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds just amazing. Being sarcastic all the time isn't exhausting or anything. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> nope, the sarcasm. Let's get this party started or whatever. This new GPT model can solve maths problem. In, in this form, Hello there. I I'm here with my son and I'd love you to tutor him on this math problem, but don't give him the answer. You can ask questions and nudge him in the right direction, but I really want to make sure he understands it himself. And he's here in the room, so you can talk to him directly. Of course, I'd be happy to help. Let's look at the problem together. Can you first identify which sides of the triangle are the opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse relative to angle alpha? All right, so I'm pretty sure this is the angle alpha right here, right? Perfect. Correct. correct. Now, looking at the triangle, which side do you think is the hypotenuse? Um, really, Remember I'm, the hypotenuse? I'm not totally sure. I think. I think it might be this one, but I really am not sure. This side AC. You're close. Actually, side AC is called the adjacent side to the angle alpha. The hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle and is directly opposite the right angle. You can talk to GPT and get to know your required information. Hey, how's it going? Hey there, it's going great. How about you? I see you're rocking an open AI hoodie. Nice choice. What's up with that ceiling though? Are you in a cool industry style office or something? Well, can you take a guess at what I might be doing based on what I'm showing you here? Hmm, from what I can see, it looks like you're in some kind of recording or production setup. With those lights, tripods, and possibly a mic, it seems like you might be gearing up to shoot a video or maybe even a live stream. Yeah. In fact, we've got a new announcement to make. That's exciting. Announcements are always a big deal. Judging by the setup, it looks like it's going to be quite the professional production. 
is this announcement related to opening up? It is. And in fact, what if I were to say that you're related to the announcement or that you are the announcement? Mm, me? <laughs> the announcement is about me? Well, color me intrigued. Are you about to reveal something about AI? Or more specifically about me as a part of open AI? You've got me on the edge of my, well, I don't really have a seat, but you get the idea. What's the big news? Yeah, we've got a new model that can interact with the world through audio, vision, and text. It can translate a conversation in real time. Hey, ChatGPT, I'm here with my coworker today. Um, we'd like you to act as our translator for us. So every time I say something in English, can you repeat it back in Spanish? And every time he says something in Spanish, can you repeat it back in English? Sure, I can do that. Let's get this translation train rolling. Um, hey, how's it been going? Have you been up to anything interesting recently? Um, hola, ¿cómo te ha ido? ¿Has hecho algo interesante últimamente? Hola, bien. Uh, sí, un poco ocupado aquí preparando un evento para la semana que viene. Hey, I've been good. Just a bit busy here preparing for an event next week. Can you tell me anything about it? That sounds really interesting. ¿Me puedes contar algo sobre eso? Suena realmente interesante. Ah, uh, no, no puedo decir mucho, pero creo que el resto del mundo lo verá dentro de poco. I can't say much, but I think the rest of the world will see it soon enough. Oh, well, I can't wait to see what it is as well. Look how GPT can analyze the visuals. This is Bowen, and this is my friend Jordan. Can you guess what we are doing here? Hey, Bowen and Jordan. Hmm, let me guess. With that cake and candle there, it looks like someone's having a birthday. Are you celebrating a special day or just finding an excuse to eat cake? Either way, I'm intrigued. That's correct. Today is my friend Jordan's birthday. Yeah, you got it. I was hoping that you could sing me the birthday song. Of course. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Joel Jordan. Happy birthday to Jordan. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Don't forget. Oh, that was so great. Thank you so much. Thank I'm going to make a wish. You're welcome. Make a good wish and make it come true. And now take a look at this hilarious one. Hey, ChatGPT, could you count from one to 10 for me, please? Of course. One, two, three. Hey, actually, that's, um, that's a little slow. Could you count faster? Sure thing. Okay, that was a little bit too fast. Can you like count somewhere in between those two? Got it. One, two, three. And now even slower, please. Okay. One, two, three. Additionally, GPT-40 can sing and change its voice to suit different scenarios, such as reading in a dramatic or robotic tone. Hey, ChatGPT, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic, thanks for asking. How about you? Pretty good. What's up? So my friend uh, Barrett here, he's been having trouble sleeping lately. And uh, I want you to tell him a bedtime story about robots and love. Oh, a bedtime story about robots and love? I got you covered. Gather round, Barrett. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Bite. Bite was a curious robot. I always explore started this story but i want a little bit more emotion in your voice a little bit more drama got it let's add some drama once upon a time in a world not too different from ours there was a robot named no Bite. no no ChatGPT. i really want maximal emotion like maximal expressiveness much more than you were doing before understood let's amplify the drama once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Bite. Bite so can was. Can you do this in a robotic voice now? Initiating dramatic robotic voice. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Bite. Bite was a curious robot always exploring new Sometimes circuits. Uh, Barrett here, calm down a little bit. Can you end the story, <laughs> um, but do it in a singing voice? <sighs> and so Byte found another robot friend, and they lived circuitly ever after. 
Thank you so much. <laughs> Another significant addition is the real-time image analysis feature, where users can point their camera at objects and ask questions. Hey, ChatGPT. Hey there, what's up? How can I brighten your day today? Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna show you um, a selfie of what I look like, and then I'd like you to try to see what emotions I'm feeling based on how I'm looking. Sounds like a fun challenge. Go ahead and show me that selfie, and I'll put my emotional detective hat on. Okay, so here's me. So what kind of emotions do you think I'm feeling? Hmm, it seems like I'm looking at a picture of a wooden surface. Oh, you know what? Um, that what? was the thing I sent you before. Don't worry, I'm not actually a table. Um, okay, so, so take, take another look. Ah, uh, that makes more sense. Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go. It looks like you're feeling pretty happy and cheerful, with a big smile and maybe even a touch of excitement. Whatever's going on, it seems like you're in a great mood. Care to share the source of those good vibes? Yeah, no, uh, the reason I'm in a really good mood is because we were doing a presentation showcasing how useful and amazing you are. <laughs> oh, stop it. You're making me blush. <laughs> This extends the capabilities of vision and enhances user interactions with the AI. OpenAI also introduced a desktop app, allowing users to input text, speech, and images, as well as screen share for collaborative tasks or research purposes. Now there are infinite many uses of GPT-40, but I have discussed a few of them to make your life easier. One, personal AI assistant. GPT-40 can act as a more human-like AI assistant, understanding and responding to your emotions and requests in a conversational way. It can even modulate its voice to sound different ways. 2. Medical Diagnosis GPT-40 can be used to analyze medical data, such as diagnosing melanoma, retina exams, and pulmonary distress. 3. Code Analysis and Generation GPT-40 can analyze code, identify errors, and even generate code. 4. Research Assistant GPT-40 can be used to assist with research by compiling data and creating visualizations. 5. Educational Tool GPT-40 can be used as an educational tool, providing tutoring and answering questions. 6. Creative Writing Assistant GPT-40 can be used to help with creative writing tasks, such as brainstorming ideas or generating different creative text formats. 7. Financial Advisor GPT-4 can analyze financial data and give you advice on how to invest your money. 8. Software Development GPT-40 can be integrated into software development tools to improve coding abilities. 9. Customer Service Operator GPT-4 can be used as a customer service operator to answer questions and troubleshoot problems. 10. Interview Preparation You can use GPT-4 to practice for interviews. It can analyze your communication style and provide feedback on your tone, body language, and outfit. 11. Language Learning GPT-4 can help you learn a new language by explaining the pronunciation of words and how to communicate effectively. 12. Fitness Coach GPT-4 can act as a fitness coach and help you improve your form during exercise. The reason why I didn't show the real GPT-40 while describing its uses in the video footage is to make you aware that the jobs of these people might be taken over by GPT-40. So, those were a few uses. If you have any others in mind, feel free to let us know in the comment box below. Finally, that was a brief overview of GPT-40. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you soon in the next video. Goodbye.